Hello, one and all, and welcome to another shave with before and after shaves. Today I'm going to do a special shave. It's going to be a Ken Surf's theme shave today, and products that he has used over the years, the last few years, I should say. And to start, the razor I will use is the Mercure 34C. As Ken always uses the 34G or the 34C, I choose the 34 since or C since that's all I have. And it is a very good mild razor, good twist to open. <clears throat> and I will be using the Gillette Wilkinson Sword Blade. That is one of his go-to blades and was my first blade too, or as well. And the soap I will be using today will be oh, Ann Bonnie soap today. West Indies Bay, black tea, and lime are the, the base scents of the soap. And it's a hard puck soap, and I've had it soaking and blooming as it's a hard puck. And it's made by Dr. John's soap. And the brush. Hmm. Well, I've had it soaking in a, in a skull container I bought this evening. It is a day of, a, celebrates the Day of the Dead, but I found it at Walmart, and I'm using it tonight to soak my brush. Remind you of anything? Yeah, it's Ken Surf's his crystal skull that everyone likes, and it's but yeah, um, but yeah. I'm gonna use my um, West Coast Shaving Badger brush today. My Jasper, my ancient stone collection. But yeah, I got this a ceramic skull at Walmart. had a had a plant in it, like six bucks. And I did that, and. Well, let's get the shave going. See, I had my had my brush soaking for a little while, so I'm gonna get it out of the red skull here. I'm gonna shake it off a few times. Had my soap blooming. But yeah, it's it's good to be back in the shave den. I mean, I'm gonna collect some soap here, and I'm gonna face lather. Gonna collect. There we go. Let's try this out. And if I need to, I can always go back. Okay, let me set the brush down and let me wet the face. Let's see. There we go. Before I started filming, I also put on, excuse me, I also put on some Paraso Green Pre-Shave Cream, one of his favorite pre-shaves. And I got that, had that sitting on my face before I did the filming. But yeah, okay, let me go back to the brush here. But yeah, I got the soap in the brush. And Bonnie. And the brush is still dripping wet, but it's still going on good. Mmm. There we go. This is how I usually brush the soap on. Kind of against. Helps get the whiskers wet so we can mow them down. Lather looks good. I'm getting it all over myself. And how's everybody's day been today, if I can talk? Hope it's all been well. Everyone's having a. Really good shaves. Getting into the fall season. Like I've been saying. But man, leather looks wonderful. Smells really good. A really nice bay rum soap. Learned this one from you, Ken. Okay, I'm this off my arm here. <clears throat> okay. Let me hands off again. Uh, gets in the nose. We got a razor. It'll be Mercure 34C with a Gillette Wilkinson sword blade. So it'll be a very mild shave today. Okay. With the growth. So it feels very smooth.
Leather is performing phenomenally. Or it's, the leather is phenomenal. It's performing very well. That's actually the best and bonnie leather I probably ever had from brush to face. And I remember to rotate it. Man, so smooth. I'm impressed. I did this right this time. I have bowl lathered it. Bowl lathered, if I can speak. And, uh, and it does turn out pretty thick. And it has for him as well. And for me, when I started using it, I mean, it was so thick that obviously I wasn't getting enough water. It's a very thirsty soap. Smells very good. It's a lot of nice natural vegan ingredients. So it's good for the vegan. Man, this is that Parasso Green pre-shave has really done an excellent number for this soap. So smooth and man, I'm impressed with this. Oh, we rotate. But yeah, that, that red skull, I came by that, like I said, at Walmart. And I was like, I saw that, I'm like, well, well, shoot, that would be a good brush soaking skull. And it got me thinking, well, maybe I should get that. Like everyone gets the crystal skull. So slick. Man, Dr. John's does make excellent soap. This is the only Dr. John's I've ever used. Let me rinse the razor. Rinse my face off. Very good. Very slick. So residual slickness. Let me get that. Get the soap behind the ears. That's going to happen every time. Remember, I've not cut myself yet. But when you do, you'll see it live. So, there's no edits. We're not editing. So, okay, going back to the right, right back to the brush. I'm trying not to rotate this badger brush because, like you said in the past, rotating the badger brushes on your face can be bad for the badger bristles because it'll cause them to fall out. And I have been rotating them. I'm going to try to practice that with this brush. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Let me speak here. <laughs> but yeah. Ken Surf's tr uh, theme shave today. One of my most absolute favorite wet shaving channels to Paul H. Kevy Fit Shaves and, and amongst my other um, um, YouTubers. Mm. All right, pass number two. Of course, I'm not doing against the grain like Ken does. I'm just doing two passes tonight, one with the growth, and then I'm going to do my across one direction this time. That's going to be a very mild, but very comforting shave. This is excellent soap. I can't believe how good I did this. It's the best it's ever been. But yeah. Mercury 34C, Gillette Wilkinson. Oh. And it went on kind of wet too. The brush was still holding good water. I had it soaking for a good long time. Probably 30 or more minutes. And I still flicked it out. I flicked out some water. Man, it's so smooth on the neck. That pre-shave, like I've been saying, has really been assisting in this. It could be the soap. I mean, one or the other, a combination of all this stuff I put on. Okay, rinse the razor off. Go to the other side of my neck. Yeah, Ken 
He's got a couple of 34 C models. He's got the original 34 C, and then he's got the 34 G, which he bought because he watched somebody else use it in a video. I don't recall the name of the gentleman that had it, but that drove him to buying the Razor. And I've seen it around my store locally, and it is a little costly compared to the original because of the gold plating. But they're both mild, they're both the same razor, just one's gold plated and one's not. Okay, well, seems pretty good. Let's see, it's not going to be BBS, I'm not going to do a full, my hair is probably thicker than Ken's hair, but I'm just going to do a mild quick shave tonight. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, I'm going to rinse the soap off my face. Lots of slickness remains. Mm. Pardon my disappearance. Mm. Okay. My shoulders. All right. Time for the post shave. Okay. Which hazel? Oh no. <clears throat> Let's just go straight to the aftershave this time. All right. Blade Brisk. Based on the uh, Smin and Skin Bracer, which is another, you know, one of his favorite aftershaves. Gives a good burn. Let's see if we get a good burn, people. Well, of course I'm not, because it was a very mild mustache. You know, that's typical for me, is my mustache upper lip. Mm. Smells very good. Good classic cologne type scent. Which is another thing he talks about a lot of his classic colognes and brute old spice men and skin bracer you know good old time scents that have existed throughout white shaving history <sighs> yeah, it smells really good really strong it smells just like men and skin bracer of course i don't have the original but it's been stated all right smells awesome okay next i'm going to top that off Put on this after aftershave bomb. Men and yeah, it's men and after. This is the fresh one though. But, okay. I don't recall if he's used this or not, but I think he's mentioned it. Okay. Okay, got a good dose of that. Okay, man, my video is getting up to 13 minutes. That is the fastest DE shave yet. And that's about what he does. Okay, put on my balm. Smells really good. It's just a good fresh smell. Soothes the irritated skin. After shave conditioner. Yeah, got that on. Okay, and the cologne or the after shave I'm gonna use. Let's go with the Brute. Brute Splash On. Classic Cologne. Okay. Just kind of finish this off, I'm doing that. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay, helps with the scent. This one's really nice. Okay. Mm, good scent combination, actually. All right. Well, let me do a recap here. I did a little bit of a different routine, but it's products based on what Ken's used and what I have. And, and they all work phenomenal. They work together pretty well. I started off before the shave video with Paraso Green Pre-Shave after I did a shower. And then I used my Mercury 34C with a Gillette Wilkinson Sword Blade. Here's the wrapper right here. A good bulk, a good one you can buy in bulk at a good price too, which I did. All right, the soap I used is the um, Anne Bonnie Shave Soap by Dr. John's, a type of bay rum. West Indies Bay, Black Tea, 
dark rum, and lime. Those are the scents in the Dr. John's. That's what the bottom looks like. Okay. And the brush I used was the West Coast Shaving Ancient Stone Collection Badger Red Jasper 24 millimeter knot brush. Still has a lot of soap left as I did the collecting off the putt this time. And the aftershave I used was the Blade Brisk. Didn't use any alum or witch hazel today. And I went to the after balm. And then I did some after or splash on cologne with the brute splash on. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hold on. Let me conclude with this. The Chris, the um, the red skull. <clears throat> um, I used it to soak my brush, like Ken does with the crystal skull, and how you know everyone's bought one because he's seen it on there, and it's become a real popular thing. But this right here is actually a good alternative too. It's, I mean, I don't want to try to replace that, but it's another good option if you want a colorful skull. And this also different because it's not a candle holder. See, it, at the, when you look inside of it, it's kind of hollow, and it goes down into the face of the of the pot, which I found really interesting because the brush. Well, let me rinse the brush really fast, and I'll show you how it sits in the in the uh, red skull. I know it sounds a lot like um, the villain off of Captain America, <clears throat> which I didn't figure out until later. But yeah, when you set the brush in this crystal or red skull, it sits down into the face. See, because it's it doesn't sit straight. Well, you, I guess you could, but the water when it's in there, it makes it sit like this. So it's just enough to sit in that water and soak. But there we have it. I believe I've, I've capped over everything again. And and thanks very much, everybody, for watching. And, and Ken, I really hope you like this video. I'm sure you really will and get a kick out of it. But um, thanks again, everyone, for watching. Thank you for all your subscriptions. Like, subscribe, and comment below. And I will list the items below in my description. Yeah, thanks again, everybody. Have a great night.